Good evening and welcome. It is currently 6 p.m. My name is Dennis Atkins. I will be your main presenter this evening. We will be taking a few minutes to allow everyone to get connected. Let's go over a few technical topics that will help you have a better meeting experience. If you join the meeting using a typical desktop computer and web browser, you should see a webinar control panel. Your computer, and your computer speakers are selected by default. Please note that all attendees' microphones are muted upon entering the meeting. If you prefer to listen by phone, please select the phone call option. The dial-in phone number information will be displayed. This control panel is also where you can enter your comments or questions in the question box. Participants may join the meeting in listen-only mode by dialing 562-247-8321 and entering the passcode 746-841-289 when prompted. If you dialed in directly using your telephone, you will also be muted upon entering the meeting. Project displays and this presentation are available on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-881-1. A recording of this meeting will also be available for review following the meeting. If you experience technical issues during the, e during the meeting, please report it to the project team by using the question pane in the control panel. Staff will do their best to assist you. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-881-1. We will continue to wait for all attendees to join and address any technical issues before proceeding. Please use the question pane to let us know if you are having any issues. If you are having audio issues, you can still join the audio portion of the meeting by dialing in on your phone. Participants may join the meeting in listen-only mode by dialing 562-247-8321 and entering the passcode 746-841-289 when prompted. The department encourages your questions and comments. There are multiple ways to provide your input. You can type your questions or comments directly into the question pane on the meeting control panel anytime during the meeting. You can also submit your comments after the meeting directly to FDOT project manager, Kathleen Enot, by email at kathleen.enot at dot.state.fl.us, by US mail, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida 32720, or by telephone at 386-943-5149. Contact information is also available on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-881-1. The project team will respond to questions and comments in writing after the meeting. We now turn it over to the FDOT project manager. Good evening. The Florida Department of Transportation would like to welcome you to the public meeting for the proposed improvements to Montreal Avenue or eastbound State Road 518 from US 1 to Pineapple Avenue in Brevard County. My name is Kathy Enot. I am the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. This public meeting is being conducted virtually using the GoToWebinar platform and in person at the O'Galley Civic Center on January 19, 2021. The financial project number is 442-881-1. We will now begin the presentation. Thank you. Public participation is solicited with a, without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI 
may do so by contacting Florida Department of Transportation, District 5, Title VI Coordinator, Jennifer Smith, by phone at 386-943-5367, by email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us, or by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720. You can also contact FDOT statewide Title VI coordinator, Jacqueline Paramore, by phone at 850-414-4753, by email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us, or by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399. The project is located along Montreal Avenue or eastbound State Road 518 from US 1 to Pineapple Avenue in Brevard County. Key stakeholders include the City of Melbourne, Brevard County, and the Space Coast TPO. The purpose of this project is to extend the life of the existing roadway by repaving Montreal Avenue from US 1 to Pineapple Avenue and to improve pedestrian and bicycle safety along the corridor. The existing roadway has two 14-foot through lanes, two five-foot sidewalks, and a nine-and-a-half-foot parking lane on the right side of the roadway. There are no bicycle lanes along the existing roadway. The proposed roadway will be restriped to provide two 11-foot through lanes and a seven-foot buffered bike lane. On-street parking will be relocated from the right side of the roadway to the left side of the roadway and accommodated with an eight and a half foot parking lane. The existing five foot sidewalks will remain on both sides of the roadway. Some of the enhanced bicycle and pedestrian features include upgraded traffic signals at Highland Avenue and Pineapple Avenue with pedestrian signals and improved intersection lighting. Special decorative crosswalks similar to the crosswalks on the parallel State Road 518 westbound roadway and seven-foot buffered bike lanes along the, <clears throat> excuse me, and seven-foot buffered bike lanes along the right side of the roadway. Extensive data gathering activities such as surveying, soil testing, drainage, and traffic analysis have been completed. The design phase of this project is scheduled for final completion in fall 2021. Construction is anticipated to begin in late 2021. No additional right-of-way is needed for this project. The Florida Department of Transportation recognizes that the success of any transportation improvement is dependent upon a successful public outreach effort. Public notification and project updates are provided through the project newsletter, public notices, a news release, and on the project website, at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-881-1. This meeting is being held to connect with stakeholders and obtain input regarding the proposed improvements. The department will respond to comments and questions in writing after the meeting. If you would like more information about the project or to provide comment, Please contact Kathleen Enot, FDOT Project Manager, by email at kathleen.enot at dot.state.fl.us, by U.S. mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida 32720, or by telephone at 386-943-5149. Contact information is also available on the project website. As a reminder, you can type your comments or questions directly into the question pane on the meeting control panel before this webinar closes. You can, al <clears throat> you can also download a comment form from the project website and mail it to the FDOT project manager, Kathleen Enot. You may also provide your comments to Ms. Enot via email or by telephone. All comments, exhibits, or statements received or postmarked on or before Friday, January 29th, 2021, 
will become part of the public record for this meeting. To visit the project webpage, go to www.cflroads.com, enter 442-881-1 into the search box located at the top right-hand corner of the homepage. Select the result 442-881-1 SR518 from US1 to Pineapple Avenue. Here you can view project-related documents and project contact information. Project documents and updates will be, posted, will be posted to the project website. We encourage you to stay up to date by visiting the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 442-881-1 or contacting the project manager for more information. Thank you and good evening.